Hello, my name is Sandro Forte, and today I'd like to talk to you about the principle of scarcity, one of the six key success principles in business. We've already talked previously about consensus. So lesson number one, principle of scarcity. Taking you back to 1989, the back end of 1989, just starting the business, and I was given what we refer to in the profession as an orphan client. It was basically a name and a telephone number, but my boss, Tony, convinced me that this was a particularly good prospective client. They ran a supermarket business up in the north of England, and off I went in my car that I could barely afford to drive all the way up to the north of England for this early breakfast meeting. And actually, the first meeting went really, really well. And I got to the end of the meeting and I subconsciously was fairly confident that I would guide the client towards a second meeting to talk about corporate protection and some pension planning. And all was going really, really well. We finished up our breakfast. Uh, we were just about to say our goodbyes. And of course, I'd been told that I had to always book the second meeting before I left the first. So I opened my paper diary. I did actually have a paper diary in those days. It was called a daytimer's diary. And with confidence, I opened this diary did what I was told to do, which was to give them two alternative times and dates for the following week. And uh, I opened my diary in front of these two prospective clients. And of course, because I wasn't very successful in those days, the diary was empty, didn't think anything of it. All of a sudden, their demeanour, their attitude towards me and the meeting, this reluctance to then meet again just suddenly appeared from nowhere. And I couldn't quite understand why they had completely changed their attitude towards the meeting and meeting up again uh, at some later date. And when I was packing up all my things, uh, I never heard from them again, by the way, I realised that actually, when I opened my diary, all they could see was a sea of blank pages. And of course, as a new kid on the block, as a new advisor, that was something that was of no surprise to me. But I realised that the dynamic changed in that moment when they saw an empty diary. So that's why I developed the Yellow Box Diary system. There's a number of reasons why I developed that system, not least the discipline of making sure that I saw people when I wanted to see them, and we'll talk more about that on another occasion. It was more about the fact that by colour coding my diary with the intention of filling it, clients would have a perception that I was really super busy. Rather than seeing a sea of blank pages, they would see all these coloured boxes, and we'll talk about those as I mentioned at another time, but all they could see was different colours and boxes and perceived perception after all is reality that I was really, really busy. So when we talk about scarcity, the basic principle here is that people want what they can't have and they don't want what they can have. So if you make something abundant like your time, when somebody phones you up and says, let's meet tomorrow, if you just say, yeah, no problem, what time do you want to meet? It shifts, changes the dynamic in the prospective client's mind. Now, it might be by chance that you are free tomorrow. Just don't make it easy for the prospective client to think, to perceive that you are really accessible because that sends a message to them subconsciously that if you're free, you have plenty of time and therefore, by definition, you're not very successful. That may not be the case, but perception is reality and that's really important to understand. So just be aware that even though you might be going through a bad patch at the moment, or at some point in the future, as we all do from time to time, just make sure that by reconnecting with all those things we've talked about before, going back to basics, just become and maintain an awareness around this principle of scarcity. People want what they can't have and they don't want what they can. So if you make it easy and abundant and accessible, people step away. If you make it difficult, just say, really sorry, I'm really busy tomorrow but I might be able to move a couple of things around if we can agree this particular time. Or you might just say, can't do tomorrow, can we push it to the back end of next week and I'll see what I can do. Or possibly, I just can't do anything until next week. And I know that's a discipline. I know that's really, really difficult for us to do, particularly when you know, we're new after new business opportunity, we might be up against it under a little bit of pressure, but it's really, really important to maintain that discipline and understand that basic principle. Principle number one, the principle of scarcity.